Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to tell you about two aid climbing setups. The Russian Aiders and the Al Fifi adjustable Fifi hook. And thank you so much Ole for sending me the Russian Aiders uh, in exchange for the rope solo course. Uh, I hope you like the rope solo course as much as I liked my Russian aiders. Thank you so much. And then I'd like to thank Scott Richards from Scott's Wall Gear because I contacted him and I said, you know what? I think I, I should try the Al Fifi there. And he said, well, you know what? I send you one and boom, I get that in the mail. So a small disclaimer. I've never been into A4, A5 terrain, so I wouldn't know about it. Last year, I did three big walls in Quebec, so the Cap Trinité, and I used, for the first time, but for the three walls, I used um, Russian Aiders. And I thought it was great because I mixed some free climbing and aid climbing. So these things here, they go on my legs and uh, they stay there for the whole climb. So, and the, the small hooks that are there, uh, they go at the height of my knees in the middle of my legs. They, so they come from Europe and I think they're brilliantly made. The hooks are made of titanium. Uh, I, I had zero trouble with them. I think the fit for me was perfect. And those, so those are going on the legs and these ring trees, they, this is what you put on the wall and then you hook the rings with the hooks you have on these things. I'll show you that. So first I would put these things on my legs. So I gotta see which one goes right, which one goes left. There's a Velcro closure for the bottom part. Then there's a plastic buckle for the ankle. All right. So I will put this on my leg there. There's a Velcro here beautifully made. Here is aluminum buckle, it, it seems. All right. The hook is perfect. And then I place the, the blue on the left. I mean, I never had problems putting the wrong side. So I think I got it right. Now I start by the highest buckle and then the lowest buckle, doesn't matter. Okay, plastic buckle. All right, so that's it. It doesn't have to be super tight or anything, but you want the hooks to stay roughly where they are on the legs. And then you take one of the rings, ring trees, so here, uh, Ole Hort makes three models. This is the one I prefer because it's the most simple. It's just a single straight line. You have one, one ring, two rings, then two rings at the same height, two rings and two rings here to top step. And the hooks that you have on your knees, you can put them on the rings, but you can put them on protection, on carabiners, on slings, on bolts, whatever suits you, uh, you can just hook it up. Okay, I, so I put the tree here on a bolt and then I will put the first leg maybe at that height and I will, so I grab this with my hand and I go up the ladder like this. I go up, I go up, and when I'm at the right height, I can just hang from those hooks. And it does the ski boot effect. The ski boot effect is I can lean back 
and I won't come unhooked and so I don't need to be attached from the waist here with a Fifi hook and that's super great I can super top step right there let's try that my shoes are not the stiffest so I suggest you use stiffer stiffer boots but look I very much top step right here my waist is very much above my carabiner and this is good so I will get down without falling okay so what I like about it is if I have my free climbing shoes and I want to just continue climb free climb uh, the hooks they will come detached right away I just can start climbing and that's it that's the most simple setup and I like that because aid climbing I like to keep as active as I can I like free climbing also so yeah I like this uh, this thing this uh, aid climbing setup so I have two of these ladders two identical just the color is uh, different and this is the model I like the most but originally uh, I asked Ole if I could try another setup that he makes so so here is a different one so you have basically two different strands one for the right leg the other one for the left leg but you can put it any side you want and then you have uh, alternated rings uh, at the beginning between the two strands and then you get two two and two so I tried it because I had this uh, model for um, for to try on my three walls last year and what I so like this you know so you can spread the legs a little bit more but you don't never you never need to spread the legs and what the the thing that I dislike about this system is is just a little bit more complicated to have two and then when one is straight and you're climbing maybe the other one will go where you don't want it so I mean it, it's just too much material and not I, I don't think it's an advantage for anything maybe super hard aid I don't know I have no idea and then the Al Fifi adjustable Fifi hook uh, it took me a long time to get to it because I had the Russian aiders already dialed and I liked it and I, I thought maybe there's nothing better anywhere um, but this year I really wanted to give it a chance so I took it on my big wall I did the hardest big wall on Cap, Cap Trinité uh, that I've done yet and I climbed I led all the pitches and I used uh, this Alfifi on all the aid climbing so the way I use it is I have a single one and it's a right-handed one so so the way it works you have an ankara buckle right there that holds the sling and you can pull the sling I don't know if you, you know the Yates adjustable daisies they they work with similar buckles or maybe exactly the same I don't own them and, and then Scott um, he welded a hook a Fifi hook and this is a steel hook so it's all steel there and I find like uh, it looks very very durable and the sling looks uh, really very slick so it, the, the action when you pull on the sling it works very well and the way the buckle is installed it's really easy to place I'm right-handed and this is a right-handed Alfifi because it hooks towards the left and uh, extending it is, is just natural like uh, very easy and I, I did it with the left hand 
and it works just as well and you just kind of back hook uh, with it so I used it with the left hand whenever I needed it to also it worked per perfectly um, uh, the only thing is um, in order to uh, keep that on the harness sometime if I do a lot of uh, free climbing uh, I'd like to be able to clip a carabiner somewhere and actually you know what I, I could clip it right on in the buckle right there it's just a little bit more awkward but there's there's some holes in the ankra buckle and I put a two millimeter uh, cord a loop of it and I like that it it never hindered anything and I put a small here is a camp nano carabiner or nano 22 and I just left it there the whole time and it worked perfectly and the end of the the sling um, I, I kept it there sometimes and sometimes I just let it uh, hang freely when I had to do just a few free moves or anything, I could just hook that on my harness without the carabiner and it would stay in place reasonably well and I liked it too. So the way I use it, I place, so here a regular aider. Uh, I used a lot of the Yates that are really popular, but these are the Olay and they are much lighter and I just find them just as efficient. So I used these aiders uh, this year because with the Al Fifi, you need regular aiders. So I basically climb on it. I place the Al Fifi on the back of my carabiner, but it could be on the gate too. It's just that I, I would be more uh, wary of how I pull on it when it's on the gate side so here on the spine of the carabiner and then I just pull like this and rest and this is so natural so easy and then I can climb up and you will see that I can adjust <laughs> this length perfectly and I can when I pull it completely tight okay it's uh, exactly the length that I like it sometimes. And if I want to top, top step, and I'll try to do it now, I'd like to show you. So it will invert here for sure. Okay, let's try that without killing myself. I put my two feet here, one in the void, and you see it inverted here. And then I can even adjust a little bit the length of the Fifi to climb higher up. I just hold the sling so it doesn't give me a ton of slack at once, but it's perfect. And then if I want to down climb, it's super easy too, like this. And I can just adjust the length of the Al Fifi. So going up and down like this, uh, it's just a dream. And when I'm ready for the next uh, spot, I want to put my Al Fifi. I just extend it like this directly towards the next bolt or next protection and it works every time. It's incredible. So I know that some people say it's uh, it revolutionizes the a climbing game, and I would agree that it makes it so much more efficient. And sometimes I just use the aiders like this and the fifi hook, um, but when I'm on sketchy protection and I think it could blow on me and I could maybe lose the protection and the aider. I will add uh, some kind of daisy chain here just to like a leash not to not to lose anything if it falls in the void because this is just a hook so it's not secure and so I, I like that 
and basically just to install the Alfifi on my harness I girth itched to the two hard points of the harness so the leg loop and the belt loop and the reason for that is that I feel that it will be much shorter when I make it super super short here it will get me much more towards the cliff I'm climbing and I like that so uh, all in all uh, incredible device and I really look forward uh, using the Alfifi uh, more in eight climbs I do in the future. So what do I prefer? Do I prefer the Russian Aiders or the Alfifi? Well I think uh, I like when things are simple and none of them are simplifications of the of anything that we've seen in aid climbing. Uh, basically the Alfifi it's something that you add to your kit instead of a regular Fifi and the Russian Aiders is really a pile of webbing and some things that you have to arrange on your legs uh, before you start climbing. So if anyone comes with a simplification of all that to make it super lighter simpler and everything well I, I would definitely look into it but uh, aid climbing is usually not about being light and it's very not simple sometimes and both systems serve me really well. The Russian aiders shine in slightly overhanging terrain and in dead vertical. Uh, this is terrain where the Russian aiders will get you very high in your steps and you would have a hard time to go higher with any other system so it's really good. The Alfifi hook shines where you have really awkward uh, climbing like um, uh, closed dihedrals for example that are overhung uh, that's awkward, very overhanging terrain, uh, roofs, and on slab I think uh, having regular aiders with the Alfifi can be an advantage. Thank you very much to have listened to the end of that video. Uh, if you want to look into my specialty, it's uh, a rope soloing, so it's top rope and lead rope soloing, Looks at, look at the link in the description, you'll find a link to my uh, courses and go see um, my other videos right there and please subscribe to my channel, that helps me too, clicking right there. Thank you very much, see you next time.